So if you're having a chance to watch our playthrough, you can see uh, today our village has uh, grown to 44, 45 members. We're trying to get some income happening to pay our territory taxes and our maintenance costs, which are booming. And I don't know if we can overcome the uh, insurmountable costs. Um, given that we're not getting enough trade. And we've been cutting back on our buying. We got tons of cloth, tons of, uh, I guess, clothes. But nobody uses them. And nobody buys them. Now, if I had bread, I guess I can try and work on bread, but I can't see how I can get it at this point. <sighs> because... Basically, um, I don't have enough resources, I don't think, to rebuild any more manufacturing facilities. The only way to the resources show up, but I can't remember. Okay, there's a first list. So we really don't have anything that we aren't already selling that people will buy. Won't even buy the wool. So it's not a very easy start when, you know, the only thing that they'll buy is the pieces that you actually still need to build your village. I don't know if it's stock like that every time you start a new game or if it's just this one that's randomized or if it's map based. You know, I got a lot of people standing around here and I don't know if they're, if they're on their free time resting. So we're trying to build another stand here to uh, import and sell fish, which I think will make people happier. 21 villagers are lacking food because we don't seem to be producing enough. But I can't really add a gathering hut when I don't have the resources to build one. Um, do I start looking at selling my farms? Such. Uh, I can get some stuff back, but not very much. Hello, Austin Monster. Welcome to our broadcast today. This is our play through uh, live guide. And I'm not going to say uh, I'm an expert because this is my first time playing. But nonetheless, uh, you can learn as I learn. And in fact, if somebody has expertise and they watch this, uh, it would be great for them to tell me. Oh, and I just found some more berries up here, too. So if I could sneak in. Oh, that's right. We ran out of trees, didn't we? We can't really reforest because we don't have a reforestation method. Like two or three trees there. Good to actually cut down. See if we can make it uh, work. Or we may be... Uh, out of luck. They really mowed through everything. A uh, lot faster than I thought they would. We're going to get these trees out of town, because that's all we seem to have. And, uh, Get that rock if you don't already are really taking it. But you can see here we scrape the edge. 
scrape the edge. Apparently the trees don't ever grow back on their own, which I find a little bit strange. Uh, maybe they'll add that aspect to the game at some point. Uh, we have cutters or we don't? We do. Hopefully they're going to go and find those areas that have a few trees left and cut them down for us. Um, nonetheless, the weaver hut's not doing us any good right now. Taylor workshop, no good. I'm going to try and quickly pump in another uh, gathering hut by these berries if we can. See if we can get it built, and then that will give us some more food. Try and keep up with the uh, food demand. Have builders. I have unemployed people. So where was the um, workplace list? Any place I got a empty spot. Oh, I can't promote anybody, unfortunately, but I think I need to to get them to use the clothing. I'm gonna get these people working. That's all of our unemployed people. Everyone has a job, at least, even if it's not anything useful. Many, many builders. Not much. Um, resource to build with. But it seems that the maybe a little bit of added wood that we had is making it a difference. So we can get ourselves a forester's. Um, camp built. Maybe these guys can repopulate the forest as well. Um, and then we won't run out of trees before we're able to buy more property. Trade deficit of 483 last week has been replaced, but so far it looks like oh, because of the berry consumption increase. Hopefully from our properly operating market. And there's, okay. There's some trade income now. A few planks, some bit more polished stone, which is nice. I got a forester camp ready. So um, we're going to take some builders off the job and make them foresters. care what kind of tree that they uh, plant. Growing. So we may have just saved the town. See the gold depleting quickly on our maintenance costs. Uh, I guess the church is costing us a lot of money and it doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, a huge maintenance expense. But it does have the uh, clergy recognize us, which maybe will benefit us at some point in time. Don't really know how that works. 
Well, I mean, maybe it's here, right? Yeah, so the clergy builds up. He gives us things that we can uh, open. Open the additional rustic church part for what it is. Uh, save some of these points. I have enough. Those as well. For what it's worth. We may want to build a big wall at some point. I don't know if we can get attacked or not yet, but we'll find out, I'm sure. User interface is a little wonky, but you get used to it over time, I'm sure it'll happen. Farm. Pretty low maintenance cost. So I'm not going to bother to uh, disassemble it because the sheep are kind of cool to have around, anyways. Berries, sheep. Uh, if we can establish more income, we will put up a wheat farm, which we can make into grain, bread, I think, flour and bread. And obviously, uh, we would be able to use the bread at that point to open another trade route here. And that would allow us then to sell uh, our common clothes that we have in stock. And at least they start making more out of the wool. Just takes a little bit of uh, recovery time here to cover the cost of these church. This church have another gathering hut, huh? but so we're gonna take some builders. What's our lower level ones here? And get them gathering, foraging. I guess they call it. That should deal with our food problem. We will then have a uh, decent supply of food for our new giant 45 population. We were previously supporting 14 people with our food production. Welcome third viewer. It's uh, well, this game is uh, our chill game on Pot Sound Gaming at this point in time, so we don't really expect a ton of viewers, and uh, uh, obviously we're not in full production of our output yet. Um, once we have uh, a number of gamers... Uh, looks like we're going to have to hire some to fill out the channel. Uh, we'll be on 24 hours a day. And we'll be uh, chilling in the morning, scaling in the afternoon, and killing it all night long. So we still have a rather, rather large deficit here. And I don't know, like, if I go some reason I go in deficit it doesn't really seem to uh, you know negative gold position me oh, okay so we have our new trade stand we have to add the fish to it I guess they don't know themselves pick some food uh, it's a lot of that in this game I don't know if maybe they'll automate some of it when they come to the actual release it would be nice that you don't have to micro everything. Um, although apparently the villagers have their own um, AI for you know, taking roots and getting uh, rests and their hours they work and their jobs and whatnot. But um, otherwise they don't really do anything unless you actually tell them to. So... Got a new uh, person here that's unemployed. I don't really have any jobs for them that are important at this point in time. You can add more soldiers, but all they do probably is eat up maintenance costs. 
this point. So I'm playing on the two times speed. You can go to three times in order to speed things up a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously these games run out of control on you because they're too fast. Uh, you miss something and then everyone starves to death. But on the same token, uh, you know, you go too slow and you get a little bored. So we have three territories in our uh, city layout. And we're in a sort of valley. We have a connection to the water if we can ever get uh, fishing. Which I think we can, uh, maybe in these locked areas. It's odd that it isn't sort of a rudimentary skill. I'm not going to say fishing is uh, easy or a gimme. I've done lots of fishing where you catch nothing. But uh, it seems very... Um, uh, like a, a, a necessary um, part of society. If you've got water, you know, you get fish. So we're importing fish. And I'm not sure if it's working or not at this point because I uh, just set up the trade route to buy the fish in the last episode. And they're costing us 10 gold each. So um, I set it just to bring in five fish at a time. I guess if I go to trade expense, yeah, we did buy five. That's all I'm buying right now because our income is not really outweighing our maintenance costs. Um, the big ticket there, anything big. Forester camp, which we have to have. The wooden keep, which we were told by the king to build. The rustic church, which I was probably a mistake on my behalf to build. Um, but it's cool. I don't know. It's a little blank looking on the front. Maybe I don't know if there's a way I can dress it up. We don't really have any money for that. Nowhere to put anything on that face, oddly enough. Nothing really decorative, anyways. You put a grave in. I don't know why we would do that. I don't know aesthetics to make it look sort of real. No way to put a tower on the front. We're just going to leave the church the way it looks. That's just the way it's going. I made it extra tall because it was on the side of the mountain like that, so it would kind of, you know, give us a little depth of field to uh, our look. For the village, our aesthetic look. We do all kinds of stuff here to decorate. We have the cloth for it, and it gives us splendor. So I don't mind maybe putting a few flags in here and there, rotating around, show up better on your screen. I think it costs wood right now. We're not going to do because we don't have any wood. Okay, so our forester hut. I uh, haven't noticed if it's managed to put out any trees yet. We don't have any wood available. We still have this mark the zone for extraction we do so i'm assuming if any trees grow they're going to run down there from uh, lumber camp might as well just move that now i have enough to build it over to where Trees are going to grow, hopefully. And I don't know, I got like a motorcycle at the intersection. I'm not sure if you can hear it, background or not. Got a crazy ridge going through here. It looks like it should have water running through it. But it doesn't. So it's going to make it difficulty for development of our city. I did use a relatively 
odd shaped starting point on purpose because I understood this game was sort of an organic freeform growing build system and I wanted to see you know how they would handle it and so far so good Can't plant without proper zoning. Okay, well that's good to know. Apparently we need to reforest this land. Want to reforest in our sheep farm, but we can go close to our sheep. Don't really want to get our berries. Keep most of our water access open. Definitely reforest there. edge of the forest. Cool. Okay, John. Get to work. You had all times around time to rest. You weren't doing squat all. Uh, so I don't know why you need um, now to take a, a break. But uh, I guess he's a millennial. So berry production uh, seems to be keeping up with demand, and I'm not sure, uh, we're not getting any income from berries at this point. We're obviously not selling any. I got lots of rock, so let's try and get ourselves another uh, stonemason's hut, because we're doing good selling the... Um, Polished stone. One of our big income items here. Obviously, getting six a week, maybe even more. If we can up that. I believe we'll get more gold. Having gold is the way you get your other stuff going. Woodcutter can now find a successful way to zone extraction. Well, we know that because the trees are just growing. And these guys over here. Removed, so still have one extra woodcutter available. Um, level six. I'd like to get him another lumber camp. Uh, so he's gonna do more trees when they grow in. Not sure how long they take. Glad I checked on John to see how he was doing. Everyone's wanting to join our village, so we might have to look at immigration settings. I think there is a way to do that. It's going to come from a long ways away, so they won't be here for a while. <laughs> I don't have to feed them yet. We did do some work on our keep the other day, making it bigger and uh, expanding it. We had to stop because we ran out of resources as usual. And there's a new lumber camp happening. So I got unemployed people I can pump in there and get more wood production. Which in turn will hopefully get our sawmill cranked up. Uh, it is far away from that woodcutter. Far away from everything, in fact, right now. But um, I have a feeling that they'll maybe start a new road. It's kind of cool. Black screen. I don't know, Mason Raw. It looks good to me. Unless you're seeing something different than I am.
Yeah. Well, no one else has said anything about it in the chat. So I don't know exactly why. Looks... Looks normal when I look at it on my iPhone. Dryer, you can see. So, anyways, uh, regarding the distraction, uh, let me get back to where we are here. Uh, with respect to our income, really working hard to try and get gold incoming so we can continue to develop our uh, economy we're going to need a wheat farm windmill bakery a bakery to get our uh, trade route opened and those things cost a lot um, I could destroy my church we're not, uh, well, it may be getting us, what is it going to get us next? We have to get to 20 kilometers, which I don't have any, before I can get anything from the church. So we're going to take that church as a test build. We're going to lose some uh, stuff on it, but we're going to get rid of our uh, income. And they lock the tier of lockables back up, which I don't mind. I'm not really going to use that stuff right now anyways. It says I got a woodcutter that can't find trees. I'm not sure which one that is. Working, preparing to work, working, working. Oh, three times, three times. So I guess that's just a message that didn't go away. Or because the trees haven't grown in yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, you know, um, it's better than letting the villagers uh, pillage it. Gotcha. Well, we can get affiliate once we get some content. No other comment. How's our workforce doing? Uh, we're fully engaged, other than I know I can get two more soldiers in here. Well, those two guys might as well get to work on... Oh, that gives us a new military mission. That's interesting. So, because I have a six-man army, I guess, doesn't seem like a lot, but... Oh, I got untrained. Oh, partially trained. They're training. I got uh, some cra uh, training dummies here. See them go at it. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. So they're actually training right now. And then I can send them on the soldier missions. Glad I found these berries. I don't know if they popped up or they were in the forest. And I didn't see them until I cut the trees. And obviously, they don't have to wait for these guys to grow in full size before they hack them down, which is good news. Because we are going to add wood now to our economy, which will get our plank uh, output back up, which then ideally will get us a lot more trade income. You can see now villager consumption, and uh, they're using the fish. So I'm paying uh, for the fish for 70, but they're buying them for 150. So I'm actually making a profit and bringing in the fish. So as long as they're going to use it, I can increase the amount of fish I bring in. So on our trade screen here, we'll just up the number of fish that we're bringing in. And see how that goes. 
Otherwise, the berry production seems to be effective enough. Uh, we're plus our income a little bit for a change. We made 99 last week. So, gold's racking up. Cut our maintenance costs by 130 by tearing down Mason's church. Uh, no, I wouldn't call it like Pharaoh. This is true sort of three-dimensional feel to it. Um, There's a lot of similarities, I guess, in the way that you assign jobs and build monuments and all that. And But a pharaoh had a pretty good little um, uh, questing and uh, his scenario system or career mode, whatever. Whereas this seems to be just like a sandbox at this point. Um, I don't know if they have plans for that in the future as well. But uh, if you're joining us today, um, I think we might be the highest viewed channel on Foundation right now. So we're taking over the Foundation world one step at a time. I'm going to have a look at our uh, development. Um, yeah, I like that reforestation system, the way it's working there. Uh, I could probably add another reforester now, too. That would help that go a little quicker. Uh, they're fairly expensive. Nothing major. So, I got the, the workforce for it. I just put another forester's hut over here. Get out of the way as possible. And uh, you'll see it's really cool. They make another little road. At this point, they might branch off of here. Um, the builders will sort of determine that first when they bring the stuff, build it. There's a guy going over there right now. Oh, maybe he took a tree. I can't even tell. Maybe he just dropped some stuff off. Somebody, Louis bringing the planks, which is always good. I don't hate this game. I mean, again, I don't see a lot of the... There may be no point to it yet in the early access. But I think the point really is, like, see how uh, smoothly this uh, free build runs. It's got almost World of Warcraft-esque graphics with the sort of cartoony slash um, uh, real texture look to it. Uh, obviously, you know, not that level of uh, input in the graphics. It probably never will be. Uh, I don't know if it runs on like a Unreal Engine or a certain uh, Unreal Engine. I don't think it's just something else, I think, for this genre. I forget what it's called. Um, or if it's something they develop themselves. And I don't know a lot about the developers or anything at this point in time. It just looks like the kind of game I could play and not get stressed over, especially right now with everything going on. Uh, we don't really need any more stress. Get another stonemason hut, so we'll crank out some more. We got another forester signed. So again, we're strengthening our economy. We have enough to buy more property, which would give us more trees, but we don't really need it uh, when we have the reforestation going, although it might increase our output a little. And this piece right here seems to have a lot of trees. It's flat. It could be a good territory for these guys. And uh, they could make sort of a circuit here. Um, chopping and delivering the wood to where our current setup is for the sawmill. And then the sawmill will take the stuff down the hill to the warehouses. Now, the desirability, the residential, doesn't seem to be affected terribly by the warehouses. Uh, okay, we can definitely do some uh, promotions. So, we got a woodcutter level 6 here that we're going to promote. Anybody level 6, we feel like they're worth it. Oh, and then we can go and do maybe... 
commoner or two. I don't know what it gives them in respect to skills or abilities or anything to that effect, but it does give you opportunities to update um, and develop different uh, technologies and more building um, options. I think we have to get to five. I don't want to spend all that right now in case we need to do more development or gold, so I'm just going to leave it. Army is growing stronger. More missions. Have the loot. Er. Er. Fertility. I don't really understand what that means. It has to do with the growth likelihood of your crops. Especially if you put like, water on them instead of Brondo. Even though it does have what plants crave, it doesn't help them grow. So we are going to build a new church. Now that we have some uh, money, but we're going to make it simple to start with this time. We wanted to see, you know, what it would look like before. Um, we see in it, uh, it's sort of dressed up. Now we're going to do something just simpler. Pretty weird noise. Again, I don't know where the best place to put this would be. I had it over here before. And let's just put it back there. See how we can rise the height. That looked a little unrealistic before. So let's think of that height. And usually they have this kind of door on the front. Power of some sorts on them. Cool. And they got crosses on the roof and stuff. That's hard to get to stick in there. Let's uh, move around a little bit. Right, well, we're not going to get one on the tower then. Tower is crossless. And again, before we have like a little side entrance. There. Looks like a church to me. And maintenance costs on this one's going to be much lower. Oh, we had an envoy. He came and went. I guess I ignored him. There's the fisher's hut. Okay, that's going to make a difference now. I don't need to necessarily buy nearly as much uh, fish as I start uh, a guy fishing. I'm assuming oh, it has to be on the water or no? The dock and a what would the guy fish? Like this? That kind of looks like it should be. Fish off the dog. Okay. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We got lots of uh, resources to build with now. Our town uh, continues to develop. We got lots of builders. Um. Workplace list is getting almost too long to track. One thing about this game is that uh, to fit it in our view on uh, Twitch, it's hard to get a large screen to do all the kind of things maybe you want to do. Uh, Army manager. Mostly trained. So once they get trained, we're going to send uh, the soldiers 
Oh, the king. And, uh, and then that will give us a chance at getting some rewards, I guess. See how that goes. Most concurrent viewers for Foundation. Yeah, we're taking over. Taking over the Foundation world, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the music's getting a little loud, so just let me know if it's too loud for you guys. I know maybe the bigger the city, the louder the music gets, because it was awfully quiet before and just sort of plink, plink, plinking away. Now, all of a sudden, uh, oh, that's a little better. Near deafening music shouldn't be affecting uh, what you can you can hear me because I know this the level should be set about right from what I can tell my decibel levels 20% higher than the uh, high level of audio from the game competitive world of foundation streaming has already been conquered by Taunt Sound Gaming. It's amazing what a little bit of effort will get you. Even if you are a terrible gamer, you have a lot more viewers streaming when you stream than when you don't. That's what I learned in high school before I dropped out. So I got lots of gold. I'm going to buy that piece of property there, I think, and get really hammering on uh, the trees. It's gonna, uh, this is really touchy. You bring the territory up, and like if you click on it, you buy it, and there's no uh, confirming. This is the piece I want here. See, that's it. I own it now. So you have to be kind of careful with that. I bought the wrong one sort of by accident once. <laughs> Well, maybe it was the right one, but I still didn't realize I was buying it. Now that opens up a whack of trees for us to set as an extraction zone. Which is a little, again, I don't know why I have to do this. I'm not sure what the devs were thinking about that at the time. Because, I mean, I get it, because you don't want them maybe taking stuff that... Uh, you don't want them to, and I think it would actually be better if you could just say, you know, yeah, everything is available unless I say it's not. And then it might be, um, make more sense. And we're gonna just make that mostly all reforestable as well. That's gonna be the extent of our uh, forest. We're gonna need the rest for farming. We're going to put our wheat farms out here on the flats once we get them cleared off. And I think we're almost ready to build one now. Uh, just to get it started. And then how's our clothing supply? we still got tons. We don't really need to rebuild that yet for a while. And we just have to watch our desirability issues here. There, and we don't want to infringe too much on the cheap farm. We don't want to have our wheat farm too close to the residential area. And that's probably good. Seems like there's enough space for the town to keep growing in the areas we've already allocated. That should be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, we spent a lot um, general spending, I guess, on the church and stuff. We had a negative uh, income last week. Planks that we were producing may be going into building that church now too. So that would limit the amount we can export. Tons of stone and stock. 
uh, making the polished stone and selling it, I think, as quickly as we can. Lots of wool. Maybe I should be doing the wool now. how the layout ends up working on the uh, we'll up the uh, upgrade the uh, priority on it Fishing is ready. So we're just going to start with a small amount of fishing until we see how it works. See, they've already built a road out there. They did build a little road through there where I thought they would. It's cool. But as far as taking the wood from. That's the forester. These guys are already on. Workplace is full. Fifty wood there. Does that mean? Oh, we're probably really loaded up on wood fast. I guess a hundred is the most you can fit um, in any slot on the warehouse. I wonder if it would make sense to have a warehouse for wood out here where they're cutting it. Sad one. And then um, have a place for overflow of wood before it gets taken to, to make planks. Um, they could use more. Not getting there fast enough, I have a feeling. So let's move the whole. Uh, production of wood out to the forested area. We need a sawmill now. I'm just going to put it right here. Same area as everything else that's going on. Actually, you know what? Maybe those are the two woodcutters there. Just put the sawmill right between them. Should be better. So we don't have any plank production for a minute, but I think our production was slow because it was uh, taking too long to get wood to the sawmill. Oh, here we go. So we have a little bit of gold to promote some more people. So anybody that's level six, we're gonna promote. They've obviously worked their way up. The unemployed people, we're gonna leave. Then 
can do one level five. Um, Shepherd. Just down to almost no gold again. But I think once we get our wood production up full blast and we start seeing some fish produced. We've got five fish there. I don't see any reason why they can't be taken to granary. Um, there's four runners there. Transporters. We have to put another slot on to get another runner to go. that does. I mean, they'll all go to get stuff, which is again a little bit of a short sight on behalf of the devs at this point, but maybe it's something they'll fix. And then our quarry uh, area, expertise of mining. Uh, we'll still has an abundance of stone available, which again Probably it's taken directly to there from the quarry itself to the manufacturing facility. So shouldn't need to go to shouldn't need to go to the uh, warehouse first, even though I have an overflow there. So let's get another uh, stone cutter again. This is how we, uh, oh, no stone cutter, sorry, we need a stone mason. Try not to infringe too much on residential area. Just keep it up the side of the hill like that. And we got a lot of building going on, so let's add a new builder. And there, we've got a de development happening here in our little town. 61 people now. Cloth and clothing, still an abundance. Lots of wool, so we're going to have tons available built up for when we do open up our weaving again. We're not going to be able to get there until we get our bread happening. What are we missing? Tools. So we're going to need to up our tool uh, import. Probably not going to hurt us too badly. Um because we're getting a decent income going. Cool. Kind of surprised we can't make our own. Start off, cap it at 10 for now so we don't overspend. Keep the income coming in so we can do some more promoting. Open up more uh, state items. Need more commoner. Producing tons of influence or splendor. Unlock the actual church at some point. Twenty commoners. I think commoners are what we're doing right now. We need twenty. Don't have many yet. Are getting monks? Don't know how that works. Church, I guess. Which we're rebuilding. Probably uh, another builder. Our men. 
that. Okay, how are we doing with our soldiers? We get to do a little mission now. Fully trained. We're gonna pick an easy one. Losing the mission. Buddy. So this is the soldiers here, maybe? Yeah, there's one. Oh, maybe they're assembling? I don't know what's going on. Lost oh, that one. They're just going and doing their thing. Send soldiers to help the king. Actually, sign. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think there's any point in keeping any soldiers back. I don't see where we're going to be getting back. Success probability impossible. It's not very good. Well, let's send them and see what happens. There they go, actually. Some of them, anyways, are doing something. Seem to be gathering at the city center. I obviously didn't leave enough room for. Oh, there they go. So, <laughs> they're marching off to war. <laughs> Six little soldiers. It's about as cheesy as I think I can imagine the game being, but... Uh, Again, if you're not here to go to war, I mean, maybe you don't really care. So we're going to start moving everything out of that warehouse. Um, once we get a new warehouse built. I'm building one over here. Is that it? That's it. Take wood, stone. We won't take the planks yet. The tools. Because we're just going to empty stock of wood here first. Have it taken to the other division. It's like already full. <laughs> Let's open up another slot for wood then. Just fill this sucker with wood. Why even take the stone at this point? Wood. That'll be a wood manufacturing area. Most they are doomed. I don't know who's doomed, but other foundationers maybe I haven't actually seen the guy fishing yet a little, oh here you come oh yeah you got a little boat there he goes out in the boat check that out <laughs> that's all right and he sees the fish there actually so I guess he has to go find the fish so we got a few more fish spots and do more fishing lots of Cash right now, so unemployed villagers. Not hurt to have another fisher's hut there. Forests seem to be staying rather healthy. It's great. Probably have a lot of foresters, or I guess uh, woodcutters. Tons of gold now. Big stockpile of wood. And they lit this uh, 
That one's been emptied out. So we could take um, more stone there for now. Get a new stone a manufacturing warehouse built. Kind of like right here. It hangs off the cliff nicely. should be interesting you know they stockpile the stone on the side of the mountain but then we'll be able to get the warehouse out of our city center you know when you're first building a city you don't want everything too spread out you want everything compact and uh, have very accessibility uh, easily Tools. What is going on with our tool import? Buying the fish, but they're not buying the tools. I have the slot for it. I'm accepting them, so that can get them full on transporter. Maybe I'm just not getting enough. Maybe they're using it for other projects. Can't spread it out. Old economy is good, so. I have enough berries, so I don't need to import any of that. Making enough planks, we're making the stone for export. It's really just the tools that we need right now. I would import wine if I thought we had villagers requiring it. Maybe I should check that out. He doesn't have any service for the church. That's not making her happy. The church is probably on hold, waiting for the tools as well. Well, I guess that's just the way it is. fishermen now. Cheap farm is still happening. Our bustling uh, lumber industry. Bonnell is going full bar, full bar. Oh, he doesn't. There's nothing in stock for wood, which is very strange. There are tons of wood there. Why does it take them so long to get the wood there? I'm definitely going to throw up another sawmill just in case. I think we can get a foot safely. some people lots of money for that we're gonna get close to um, unlocking some more items see we got dairy farm and cheese maker are open now so if we can ever get our wheat farm built get our bread industry happening Oh, 
all these iron tools. Trying to prioritize that building. So I think that they could get the tools there first. Yeah, I can keep more builders. I don't know. Lots of builders, really. Enough fish to keep up. See, really like eating it. They're using the clothes now, so that's bad news a little bit for us because that means we need to get our weaving built back up. So it's going to be a little cost involved in that, but. Um, slowly but surely here. Get back to normal on that. Takes care of the stone and the polished stone. So we're gonna empty that stock. This will be wool cloth clothes only for now. And this guy that is stone will empty. We'll have only planks and tools there. There. It's here. That way I don't need the plants here. I'll just have to assign the tools somewhere. And we can shut down that warehouse entirely. Here. now empty. We can bulldoze it. That will allow our town center hopefully to increase in size a little bit. Lots of gold. Lots of trees. Tons of wood in stock. So, no need really for any more woodcutters. Maybe another sawmill.
two more people coming, but I can add. Wait. Saw mill. Looks like we added a follower this morning. We're at the nine followers. Gonna break that ten mark any minute now. Haven't already followed. And you're watching this video at any point in time. Please do. Church is almost rebuilt. Plus 271, we're going to need more space in our uh, treasury. We can actually do that here. Pension to be built. Greater treasury. I don't know what the scholar is doing there. Don't see any other than another. Study blueprint and learn their secrets. Okay. I can only put one in as I can tell. Another thing. Treasure. thinking I should have put my arms over here. Let them sort of spray around on the mountainside. Nobody seems to build over there. Tools, We're just not getting them. I don't know what's going on in the trade. Tools. Not turned on. Ah, we turned them off because we were broke. Well, no wonder. Here we go, folks. These little things that, uh, very manual about this game. City center crowded full of people. The market area also around the city center. We uh, have a weaver coming back to town. I 
I can cut all those trees now. Might as well take that extraction. That residential spot not building. That is in. Can't right click out of that. Okay, are we buying tools yet? Fish. Jeez, I don't know how that got selected. Empty stock, maybe they're moving them. Maybe we remember now. Not taking them anywhere else. Wow, silly. Not sure if I'm trade for tools now, I think, finally. Cheap. Ah. So fluffy and peaceful. Okay, we got lots of money to trade some people. <sighs> we need 20 commoners. I guess we don't have enough yet. Close. Monastery. Do I need a monastery before I get a priest? By church? Yeah, we have a church. So we're trying to get our tools in. Hopefully, any minute now. Is a trader guy coming in anywhere? Guy okay, here. Okay, he wants to sell tools. He's got 20 of them. Bingo. <laughs> He's got to walk all the way into town, that's all. Fishing seems to be going okay. Stock a little bit. Enough to eat, I guess. Berries are tight. Two patches, maybe we should have a tractor. Gathering that here.
stone is piling up. We're actually making more than we can export now. Gonna lower on the actual resource portion of it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that, I could have muted you. Probably gonna need polished stone to do our monument building. Get more monuments to build. I could build a sheep statue. I don't know what that does for us. But for some reason I really want one. I just don't want to waste the Section so people know where to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, not really. I know what happened. But so tools hit town. They are. Things are going to change around here. People should just find dogs. I don't know. You're paying attention. There should be a way to deal with that. And once they level up, um, you, know, you have this level six and you take them off something for a while um, you know to do something else and you're going to reassign that person to you know it should show up as you know, propensity to do their old job so you use them to go back to it instead maybe there'll be a way to organize that or maybe they could give like a, oh look at these houses getting bigger that's cool They're not really more dense, they're just more villagey looking. Maybe that's where the higher level villagers live? What do they call them? Um, commoners, anyways. Okay. Nice to have a flourishing economy. We're going to spend a lot of money on tools here, kind of catch back up for the, for the steak I need. <laughs> but look at how we got some houses. This is the view where we would have seen the village yesterday when we logged out, so you can see the development that's happening. Wood lumber industry here. Uh, we got some farming. Now we have our village area. We have our uh, rock or stone industry. And I uh, don't know what's happening with our little army we sent. Battle history. Defeated. They all died. <laughs> Oops. Well, it said easy, okay, in my defense. But then it also did say that it was impossible for me to succeed. So, I guess we're going to have to start training a new army. Well, I mean, we don't have to, but... I didn't get our... Employees happen first, and then if we've got anyone left over, soldiers. 
Sorry, uh, King. Thanks, Sim. Sim. Sir Nations. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sure you're probably not here anymore. Uh, do I want to buy followers? No, I don't. I think they frown upon that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your mom was famous last night at the COVID pub. One of them COVID hoes. <laughs> Sorry if there's kids watching. <laughs> I didn't use any bad words, and ho 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 is more like Santa Claus than anything else. But, hey, a lot of people standing around at the town center. I don't know if I need to move the market to give them more room. Uh. They don't have to huddle quite so much. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'd love to have more viewers. I don't think anybody wants to watch. Um, I didn't say anybody. Most uh, gamers don't want to watch Foundations. And I don't know if maybe it's gone through. Cause there's a lot of followers, but nobody watches it. Um unfortunately for me because I uh, streaming to only a very few few people um, but it is good practice uh, we're getting uh, you know we're just trying to get some numbers up uh, somebody's got to keep the content flowing here so that the channel doesn't just stagnate and uh, you know eventually we just build up notoriety and at least have, you know, affiliation with Twitch so that we can have more functions, I believe, is what we were told, I was told, is the outcome on that. So, we got loads of money, and uh, but our fishermen don't seem to be terribly fishermen, efficient men. So, I'm going to try and add another fisher. Uh, dock here as well. I can only get a hut. Get another. I might be able to fit two of them in if I make them uh, tight enough together. It's so on too goofy. Goes. Because he's gathering fish. Year old. 23 years old male. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. So I got three farmers. Oh, paint crop field. That would be handy, wouldn't it? I had a feeling that was going to happen and I wasn't going to be getting a no for that. I don't want to take up all my sheep area. I have no problem making all this crop area. They can go on the side of the hill like that, all the better. Fertility is showing high. So is desirability. Oh dear. Desirability for farms. Feel free to plant all the way up there if you want, fellas. Cut those trees if you get the chance. We're done with that. And they immediately started planting uh, wheat, which is nice. It'll be interesting to see how much of that space they use with one farm uh, before I have to add another one. Welcome to our fourth viewer. Uh, you're joining us to watch the slow but steady uh, building of our metropolis. Started as a tiny village. Now 76 people, most of whom just seem to stand around at the town center. I have some unemployed. 
These are the deplorables, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, they'll be voting me in, at least, for a fourth, to, for a second term, another four years, as their liege. That music's getting really loud, so just give me a quick second here to uh, take that down a notch. Maybe it doesn't sound as loud to you guys. Probably my in-game setting, so maybe I'll leave it equal there. And again, I'll try and change it in-game. Yeah, let's take it down a notch. I hear it closer to the way you guys hear it. It is kind of nice mellow chilling music so I don't mind it playing just don't want it blaring I'm um, not sure if my decorations you know, the bushes are taking up space at the town center of the development as well or if there's a way I've painted the uh, residential zone be residential on it, just that square. Spread out the people a little bit. Not way I want to tear down that. Fair house. The, uh, Square will spread out. So I got it full right now. Oh, we're, we're going to do some more promoting. Don't really need. Uh, we need serfs. Don't need so many commoners. Um, to so all. Newcomers and then serfs. Need serfs. Can't all become serfs. Right. So I don't know, maybe that's the answer there as to how much they'll plant um, before they have to just tend to it. I think that's as spread out as that particular farm will get. Um, I'd have to build another one. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I have the next step, the windmill, so that we can uh, churn out some that way. This direction. Us. Kind of cool with some filter on the side of the hill here, maybe. Go. Oh. Rock there. Yeah, the weavers, I think, have built too. The weavers have gone back to where they there. So then, now that I'm making cloth and I'm out of clothing, I need to make clothing. That is your tailor's workshop. Get across the road. Even. In the barn. Or in that guy's house. So, cool little game. Got an hour and something in here today already on our episode three. Uh, so we may uh, end the stream here shortly. We're running out of room for gold. I'm doing so well all of a sudden. Have more treasury space, luckily. All the extensions I put on the Lord Manor. 
here, just loading up with gold, and I can keep going on it soon. Definitely have resources to work with. Planks, we've got loads. Wood, we've got loads. So we're doing well. I can probably be exporting the planks again. If I'm not already. Thanks. Sell above. I guess I'm selling all the ones I can already. Once we get some bread happening. Then we will produce flour. Take it into bread. Give some to our neighbors and they'll trade with us. These guys in Davenport. Then they will buy our clothes. And maybe we'll be able to build barrels soon too. We can actually make wine. Yeah, we're getting all that stuff now. So, I uh, probably need some more territory. And it starts to get pretty spread out here by the looks of things. Harvesting wheat now. So the granary probably doesn't have anywhere to hold wheat. Without building another one for now. Just flour. Flour. Why build another granary? Mail 1904. Wow, we ran out of names. The men. So many guys. <laughs> so they've got a seed set up for it. They just don't have the name seeded yet, I guess. Another fisherman thing. Get a tailor happening. Two millers. Now that our looks like our windmill is going. Interesting the how they built. Oh, the windmill won't turn maybe because it's stuck. Oh no, it should be clear. I don't know how they're gonna get in there. This ladder's hanging in midair. Ah! Uh, let's see what he does. Oh, just pops in there somehow. It's cool. Your mom's famous. So, if we're going to do uh, dairy, see, it's going to get complicated. You have to be like a real gamer to be able to play this once you get into that level, I think. Uh, my level of micromanagement gets awfully high, it seems. Oh, we got some iron ore there, maybe. We need to buy that territory soon. Assuming it's something we're going to need for our soldiers, speaking of which. Huh. 
start training some soldiers. Four cats. They're building another warehouse, I think. Ever build that tent? Or is it just not blue like the other one is? I don't know, it should probably revamp the whole market too at some point. I don't like where it is anymore. Is there a way to empty the not really anything in it right now, so this might be the best time to have to do that. going to give more room to our town center. See how people are spreading out maybe already a little bit. Because uh, the funny thing, they don't really make it properly, you know, in my opinion, to what it should kind of look like as far as space is concerned. You know, like a city center, maybe. I don't know if there's an upgrade for it later or what, but all these dudes spend their free time there. And, of course, check my export on that stuff. Food first. Even more than 20 at a time. Berries. I should import corn, fish, here. Fisherman augmented. And once I have bread, I guess I will have bread in the stall as well. So, what if I add that piece of land right there? Give me more fishing ability and a better ability to build a new market. You know, like a proper market. Four corner, five corner market. Aesthetically market ask if we can that house house that goods goods. And this time we're going to put blue tents on the food. And we're going to put green tents on the goods. And we're going to have a sign. Yeah, 
Just, uh, you know, this is how you work on the ascetics if you're trying to get something relatively cool, uh, as well as functional, and, uh, you know, participating in the game as well. Hopefully it doesn't look too goofy. People will use a bench if I put one in here. Fencing doesn't work the way I'd like it to. You have to build every individual piece, which is really annoying. Maybe you don't really need it for anything too uh, actually effective. So it's more for looks. Uh, it's going to cost us some gold, which we have. Um, maintenance is really high. And our villager consumption is obviously zero because we don't have a market. So let's get that sucker built. Get back to making money. So we won't promote anybody for now. So we can hold on to our cash. We're building another... Yeah, here it is. Cloth. Tools. Cloth. Clothes. Cool. Maybe you can just empty all this. That one. And then when it's empty, tear it down. Then our city center will be opened back up again for the general gathering of, you know, the unemployed and the deplorables. <laughs> yeah, it's like summer talk. <laughs> totally, man. We have to get a stage going and we could have... Yeah, because they're selling, like, stuff that nobody wants to eat and goods that nobody wants to buy. It'll be perfect. So that's our market under construction. As far as I can tell, we have enough um, resources to do it. Matter of the builders taking it over there. We have some builders that should be not too busy right now. This is almost empty. Ditch it. Oh, granary done. Getting full on berries, which is really nice. Uh, so we must be exporting the max on that that they'll take. I think we're maxing everything that people will take. And, uh, we got some flour uh, building up. Lots of fish. Wow, we don't need to buy fish anymore. Not that for now. Fish. Fish. Actually, we can, uh, we can export it. At least 50. And. Up the berries. So, how are we doing? At 227. At some point, if we start using it, we should be buying tools still. Have 20, so we don't need to buy anymore. Selling all above. Good. And then when we get to bread, 
outside. What we need is a, I guess we need a bakery. Is that what this would be? Bakery. I don't think a bakery should affect the desirability much. We'll just put it at the bottom of the hill here. It's the way in. I put it sort of there. Going the road in, and that should sort of uh, finish off the, a new block, city block, as it were. They are spreading out here a little bit now. Still not empty. Does that mean our other one is full on cloth already? It is. And uh, we're using it up. Clothing is full as well. Maybe once these good stalls get signed. Can't sign in yet. So Louie gets those flags in there. <laughs> well then. We're going to use up a lot of that cloth in the construction of that market. Maybe we can upgrade our church with some cloth too. Can we? We can put some of it up here. We have enough gold all of a sudden. Wow. That went fast. And everyone's pissed off. Because they haven't got their food. That's not good. We need to get that market open. I guess I should have built a new one before I crashed the old one. Because <laughs> people are angry. <laughs> Once Summer Toke opens, they'll be happy as hell, I'm sure, though. And they'll be doing their, you know, hippie thing. Here we go. Maybe you know, am I ready? Still not done. Louie, Louie's always slow bringing the planks. Yeah, this is like shut my town down, not having that market for five minutes. I had no idea that it was going to take them so long, I guess, to build it. Maybe I should have prioritized it if they were working on something else instead. Building it. Prioritized over it. Uh, why have I got no trade happening? Well, I do have some usual amount, but just not enough. And luckily you don't go into the minus for whatever reason, so I don't know why. Maybe because the game's you know? He wants me to deliver fish. So I think what I do is I um, have to stockpile the fish. Right? It says. Then maybe use it under. Right. Somehow then I have to accept or do the delivery. Or maybe it just did it. Did it take my fish? Oh, here it is. I can just click deliver. Okay. There you go. So I got 200 gold out of that. And I actually really needed that. And the king likes me plus 10. So I can stop stockpiling that now. Good. Good timing. We're using up that gold fast. Um, well, the market's open. Market is open. They, uh, they're ready to work. 
So I need the stall, or to find the stalls, oddly enough. Doesn't do it itself. Berries, food stall, fish, food stall, bread. Good stall, clothes. This one, I don't have anything, so it's gonna just sit empty. The villager in there. We should be good to go. We can empty that. Yeah, 24 cloth. Not a terrible loss. I'm just gonna let it go. That's it. My town center is now empty. Should be able to develop. Better bread. Summer toke. Oh, summer toke is just filling up. It's interesting they come through that little gap in the fence. I mean, you have a little pathways develop, eh? It's really cool. In a way. Get right in and see these guys, like, right up close. What's going on with their goods and such? Watch them die. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so cool. Some stuff on their little signs. Happiness level should be picking up big time because they're not lacking anymore. Getting fulfilled. And we're selling like hot cakes. Hot cakes. Yeah, that's right. And I think you see there's a guy standing here in the woods selling weed. Is it standing in the shadows? All oh, the and the people are jumping the fence instead of paying to get in. It's just like, it's just like the real summer toke. Uh, that's funny. Oh, I actually enjoy this game, you know, because that's my speed right now, being a, a fat old man. Try not to picture that at home. Uh, it's not as bad as it sounds, actually. At least I make it sound. But, uh, you know, it's not like a, a kid's game by any means, or uh, for real gamers, they probably would get annoyed with this. Even a, a big Civ fan might find this, you know, a little light, and more like Banished. But I'd say better than Banished already, and they haven't even developed it. Banished, again, is just like a sandbox scene, um, where you build an uncontrollable city until they run out of food and die. It doesn't seem to take very long. Now the sheep are kind of wandering around in the middle of the uh, lot here, the warehouse lot. So I don't know if I can actually build a fence that will help keep them in, or if I even care. But I think it would be sort of better looking in a way. More appropriate. We had uh, the sheep inside the fence. Or it'd be better to do it too once they are in there. Yeah, get back in there. The fence is should be a drag tool for sure. Oh, slipped right by. It's not too clumsy to stand, but it's not as good as it should be. Fence does keep them in though, a little bit of thing, which is nice. Except for that one. Probably can't ever get back in though. 
have this fence here. It's gonna be more cheap for the fencing area, but then you need a, 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 a warehouse here. New military missions available. Well, we're hurting on our army right now. Got three army men. See what's going on with the military training. It's funny that those they built a road right through those dummies. Promotion time, eh? Oh, we're up. We got some money. We're not broke. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say in depth. Um, eh, maybe I don't know. I don't know how I would describe it actually. Um, having employed people, I mean, people that can get a place to work. Another warehouse. I don't know what for yet. Need a bakery probably first. Did I build one? I was meaning to. Oh, I'm working on it, I think. This. I was just building a house. Maybe there in the middle of nowhere. Or a fisherman. Fish supplies are really good. Well, once I get uh, established and bred, and I will open the new trade route, and then I will probably shut it down for the day. So close to down already. Um, where are the fish then? If that's the case. Not in the granary, are they at the fishmen's houses? Yeah, they're full. Come from the granary, but what's the thing? Have one for fish, and then on our, um, and another one for the bread and berries at this point, I guess. Fields are looking pretty full. I don't know if I need another farm or not. Maybe it would just be a smart idea to have more wheat than I need. Ah. Try and make it not look too stupid. going to be getting uh, next episode into the dairy, the coal mining, iron mining, blacksmithing. You know, we'll be making weapons here hopefully fairly soon. That might be fun. Might not be any different really, I would say. Fishing are nicely crowded in there. Economy seems to be hanging in there pretty good. We spent 465 and still came out only minus 191, so we must be making a profit. Baker. Uh, we haven't gotten any new uh, 
immigrants lately, I guess, because everybody was so mad when we tore down the... Uh, what's that lacking in what? That must be the church services that they're looking for. Um, church seems to be completed. What? I can't get a priest. Faithful attendance, 20. Oh, 20 out of 20. So that means maybe I just don't have enough room uh, in there for the, all the people that want to come to church. Maybe I need an extension. That would give more room. Uh, for more parish parishioners, I think they call them. Oh, showing splendor. Well, anyways, I'll just build that on and see if it gives us more room for parishioners. If not, then we know we're building another church. Seventeen people, don't think. Uh, Twenty-two. Villagers aren't getting to go to church. And I know how cranky I get when I don't get to go. Still congregating awfully close to what looks like a couple of wooden boxes. Like that's what our town center is. That's odd in this game. The village center is just a couple of wooden boxes. And I was building, I was incorporating my um, market into the town center at one point, but then everything was very awfully crowded there. I decided to um, build an independent market space. can see the guys working on the church now. Once they get the tools there, which have in stock. See that gives us more room. Another farm. We have no villagers again. So we may have to take some builders. Nice high level builders, so it'd be nice to keep them in that position. I got some transporters here, so I can put into the farm. And I can paint the crop field again for this one. And another one. I've already got a spot. I guess that's just going to use the area, unless that is for that farm, won't, and it won't use it. Maybe I need to change this farm's area. Space that they don't even use. Other farm. Change that back to this farm. Guess that's how it works. And that will avoid. Base. Want to build over there here if they want. Once we know where they're going to build, we can adjust the next one. Give us tons and tons of wheat. Fish, if we get our other granary built. Uh, 
is. So the fish in here. Empty the fish from here. Little micro E. More micromanagement than I like. They should be able to kind of figure it out, but they won't, I don't think. if they just apply you can say yes or no that'll be smart cool part of the development church okay so we did pick up space for 25 more so obviously we're gonna have to add another addition we got bigger ones here um nice big stone extensions we're gonna match the roof uh, on one side maybe with the roof on the tower In there. That's cool. Another extension of this one. Create a regular roof. There. Then we shall have a nice church. Right? And then people will have more space for the church. Happier, but I can tell. We're all pretty happy right now. We're fitting all but seven that need that, and we got food issues. Interesting. We got bread. We can add bread. Oh, we have the bread open. I have. People working there? Yes, one is there. Lean. So, better getting the bread to me. Not being accepted here. Why is that not emptied? Go get the fish. I can put. I can put heat should go directly to mill. Mind you, when they take it off, I'm sure there won't be enough. Why don't we put another granary right there beside the mill? Just takes me. There's two more people that we were looking for. Make your tailored soldier spy. I don't know if you can. Let me have a look. Uh, uh, doesn't seem like I can change their names at this point. Maybe they'll change that in the future. They always seem to get that late in the game. I should look at getting another well built too, probably, because I don't know if people have to go too far now. Get, oh, and I was going to move that one again out of the town center, maybe, eventually. Well, I can get a citizen. I have the money for it. I'm going to have two citizens.
You know, we can make a hop farm and a brewery. Oh, baby. Everyone's gonna get wasted. Wasted at summer toke. Hooray. Okay, so we're making bread. I got enough in stock to open up the trade route. No, I don't. Maybe because it's not in stock anywhere yet. Is that the issue? Or do I have to stockpile it? Stockpile. That's probably be taking two of the grain. Probably gonna eat it as fast as I can make it. And it's going to the market uh, for sale. And it's probably gonna make me a pile of money. Because they probably pay through the nose for bread. I'm only getting 12 gold out of the bread. Maybe that's per piece, I don't even know. But we've balanced the economy for sure. Wells being built. Takes rudimentary items. Anyway, if I can figure out how to get from the bread, it goes up somewhere in the green area at some point. Still using that slot for fish. Well, there's eight in there now. There it is. So, oh, I still can't do it. Someone took it already. I guess I need another bakery. Got lots of flour. Might as well be making it into bread. I do have the man labor force. Welcome, uh, additional viewer. Just about to wrap up for the day, actually. So, uh, welcome to stay until we uh, open this trade route. That's where we're calling it a day. Right, so there goes the trade uh, with Davenport. One additional city. Uh, and they're going to sell me grapes, in which I could probably turn into wine. If I had barrels. Buy the barrels from Northbury. I can't make them soon. Help me sell the house. So the city has definitely grown. We are closing in on a hundred people. We started with ten, and you know the game will move about as quickly as you want for the most part. Um, I've had it on two times speed for the last couple of sessions. One time speed is a little slow, but it's easier to get started with it. And then as you move along, uh, you know, you'll want to get it going as fast as you can, maybe at some point, because um, your economy's cranking on full bore like mine. You got tons of gold. In fact, we could probably just buy another piece of property here. Uh, added this territory to our village now. Sprawling village. Yeah, an area over here that I think we're going to put our dairy 
farms. And then uh, the new area here has stone. We're gonna need more of and berries. And then we'll be able to add this area, which will give us the iron ore. If we don't find some maybe in the woods here, if we clear these woods. Our reforestation efforts are uh, strong. And uh, we haven't actually had to use the natural forest hardly at all. Sheep are still getting outside the fence. It's just a pain in the butt. Walking around the street, but maybe the people don't mind, you know. I mean, it's an organic uh, relationship between man and sheep. They don't get too close. I could try putting up a little more fencing. To see if it'll keep them in. Oh, he slipped through this before he got it built there. But I can't uh, block off this access to this uh, warehouse either. I guess. Whatever. Bye, extra viewer. Thanks for stopping by. Still not empty on fish here yet. Lots of fish there. Get those other guys to go get more. Seems to be getting consumed. Red's starting to stock up. Anyway, that's where our metropolis is at as we leave today. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate uh, your visit. And uh, tune into Pot Sound Gaming on YouTube catch up with our other gaming and our uh, sports card, hockey card, busting card, uh, where we bust boxes and give cards away for free. If you like that sort of stuff. And we're probably going to have a pop-up discussion today to talk about our 100th subscriber to YouTube and what our plans are. Thanks for watching.